everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be discussing my February favorites and I'm going to be talking about some Valentine's Day presents, some non-toxic body and hair products, and also the cutest thing in the world. So keep on watching. So one of my Valentine's Day presents was this cute little nightlight Himalayan rock salt lamp and JR got it from Bed Bath & Beyond and the box came with a pack of the rocks of the Himalayan rocks and um, you just plug it in it switches on and off here and it gives enough light to you know just have it in the background and not have it annoy you. Himalayan rock salt is supposed to be like an air purifier a natural air purifier so he knows I dig all of that stuff and this was one of the presents and I absolutely love it so this is my first February favorite. Moving on to the second Valentine's Day present that I got is this teak wood bathtub caddy and it is adjustable so it pretty much is supposed to fit any bathtub it just it's easy like that and then what you can do you can prop it up so you can read a book and it also has a place for your wine stem for your cup so if you want to go ahead and soak and sip at the same time you can do that he also got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay. He also got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I absolutely love it. And then I'll show you guys what I was reading as I use this baby. Which brings us to the third February favorite, The Keys by DJ Khaled. Look at him, how fancy he looks on the back. They don't want you to read. The funny thing is, I could not read this without reading it in a DJ Khaled voice. But you know, it went into detail about his story of all the things he had to overcome to get to where he's at today. So it was really cool hearing his story and how he came up. He's also from Orlando, even though people might think he's from Miami. He did go to a local high school around here. So I was kind of always drawn to his story and seeing how he came out of Orlando and became this super rock star. So it's just a really great book to motivate you and just to remember to keep focused on your dream because you gotta remember, they don't want you to win. So moving on to my next February favorite, it is the Ren Pure Coconut Argan Dry Shampoo. It smells so delicious. It really does smell like a high-end dry shampoo. Ren Pure is a really great brand if you're looking for a product that doesn't have any parabens or any toxic chemicals. On the front it says it has zero sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, filth. I can never pronounce this phthalates and propylene glycol. You know, a girl loves a good dry shampoo because I do have naturally oily hair, so this is a great go-to for me. My next favorite is this Alba Botanica Sunscreen SPF 45. As you all know, I do love the Alba Botanica brand because it is another clean brand. If you guys didn't see my harmful ingredients video, I will link it down below. But sunscreen is definitely one of those things you have to keep an eye out because they are packed with horrible ingredients. The Alba Botanica brand though it does not have that oxybenzone. No octin octin oxate i will spell it out in polo because i cannot read today or animal testing and it's 100 percent natural fragrance as you can see the little tag right here i did get it from marshall's it was only 6.99 um compared at 10 dollars but i've seen these at target and Publix. i believe another good sunscreen brand to look out for is badger my advice is just keep your eyes peeled when it comes to things that we use on an everyday basis and always fact check don't just listen to me. Go research yourself. Learn for yourself. Read. The information is out there and the more you know, the better you'll be. All right, so on to the next product. It is another Alba Botanica product. It's the three-in-one clean towelettes. And I do use towelettes every single day before I take a shower. I take off my makeup first, then I go in and I do a good scrub. I'm really loving these guys right here because it is a three-in-one. So not only is it a makeup remover, it's a cleanser and a toner, and you can definitely see it. Once you're done with it, your skin looks like you just put a nice cotton ball of toner all over. It gives you a nice glow. Also, the towelettes are so gentle on your face. I have come across some towelettes that have a little bit of grit and dryness to them, and it's kind of harsh on your skin, but these are so gentle and soft, so they are definitely one of my favorites. So the next product is this Eco Beauty Australian brand face brush here. I will try and focus in on it. Can you see it? 
No, you can't. I think you can see it now. So, oh my God, why? There it is. It has this really cool blue metallic color on the ends and then a nice cork finish in the middle. And I'm definitely gonna try to grow my brush collection with eco-friendly tools. And this is definitely a brand to look out for. And to conclude my February favorites, I have the cutest thing to talk about and to show you guys. This was a Christmas present, but it is March and we finally came around to do it. It is the cutest little frame slash puppy paw print thingy-majigger on the left for our baby Bentley. It's so adorable. So we did take some pictures of Bentley. As you can see here, this is the one that we chose. And we did do the puppy paw print, which is drying right now, but I will show you guys what it looks like. Look at Bentley's paw print. It is just so adorable. So once this is done drying, it is gonna be ready to be placed in the little frame thing, and we will just have a nice memory of Bentley forever and ever and ever. Now the drying process does take two to three days, so it just needs to air out a little bit and then we'll be ready to place it. It is from the brand Pearhead if you wanted to go check it out. I believe you can get it on Amazon or eBay. I think you got it at eBay. Um, but just so you know, it is Pearhead. One word, Pearhead. Oh, and I really want to show you guys my new little Moo Moo Cow portrait. I do love cows. It's a weird little obsession that I do have. Now, even though black and white ones are my favorite, I really don't discriminate on any colors of cows. I just love cows. And she is so adorable. And that, my friends, concludes my February favorites 2017. I hope you guys liked everything. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys later. Bye.